So now that we have looked at copying files, renaming files, moving files, creating folders, let's talk about getting some content into some of those files. And we're going to take a look at a couple of different text editors. Now, there are a bunch of them available for command line and Linux. Um, we're going to look at two. We're going to look at a simple one and a little more complex one. So the first one I want to introduce you to is nano. So we just type nano. And then if we just do nano and hit enter, it'll open up. Let me go ahead and do it here. You can see nano. You see up here it says new buffer. That's because we don't actually have a file yet. So I'm going to do control X to exit. And I'm going to go nano. And I'm going to do sample1.txt. And now you notice I have a file. And you'll see it in this little title bar here, sample1.txt. Nano is a very basic text editor. Now it will do, I like it because it'll do pretty much everything that I want. And if I'm wanting to do a really simple, quick edit to a text file or something like that. There are other far more powerful tools if you're going to be doing a lot more work. But just for creating a simple text file, this works very well. Okay, so there we go. Now, down here across the bottom, you'll see all of my commands. Get help, exit, write out, read file, where is, replace, cut text, paste text, justify. Uh, so all of these you access by using the control key. So if I do control X to exit, it says save modified buffer. Basically what that means is you made some changes. Do you want to save it? Yes or no. I'm going to hit control C to cancel because you'll also see right over here, the second one up from where my mouse cursor is, is the right out. So if I do control O, name a file to save, that's writes the file, sample one dot text, and there it wrote two lines. And then control X will edit or exit. Now, if I want to edit that file again, I can just do nano sample one dot text and there we go we're back in all right control x now that's nano really simple really straightforward really easy to use another one that a lot of people like especially if they've been using linux for any period of time is vi or vim for vi improved so I'm going to open up that same file in Vim. So it's going to be VIM. And if you just do VIM and hit enter, it'll give you a blank file. Um, same thing. You'll have to save the file in order for it to actually be there. Or you can open up another text file. So I'm going to do sample1.txt. And that's going to open up my file. Now, at this point, if I try to do something, notice I can't go down. I'm trying to enter to do a new line. If I come over here, can I enter? No, I can't do things. Um, so this, what's going on here is VI or Vim actually runs two modes. So mode number one is command mode. Mode number two is the edit mode. So, or insert mode. So if I want to insert text, what I want to do is either hit the insert button on my keyboard or the I. And when I do that, you see how this changes here to insert. And so now I can come in and this is an edit made with VIM. See if I can type. So VIM, uh, it's a very powerful text editing tool, if I can type. But it does have a steeper learning curve, however. Okay, now, all of this I've done in my insert mode. Now, to get back to my command mode, I'm going to hit the escape key. The escape key brings me back into command mode. And this lets me do lots of interesting things. Like, let me come up to this line here. And you know what? I don't need that line. So I'm going to double tap my D and that line goes away. If I want to put it back, go back to my insert, add in. All right. There are also ways to copy and paste and find and move whole paragraphs. And it is an incredibly powerful tool. You just got to remember that you've got those two modes. And so if you're in command mode, you can use all the tools. And we're not going to cover all of them. I mean, there are 
tons of good people write entire books on using VI and VIM. And I am not by any stretch of the imagination a master with them. Now I have watched people who know a bunch of the commands and are very, very fluent. And you can edit a document very quickly, very powerfully with them. It is an incredible tool. But I want to show you just one thing here real quick. In command mode, I want to enter a specific command. So I can hit different keys and different keys will have different meanings like I is insert, D is delete. I can also hit my colon, which is going to open up this down here where I can type a specific command. So I'm going to do set number and that turns on my line numbering for me. I can also, if I want to, uh, let me, whoops, I hit insert. I wanted to exit out of there. I want to set no number to turn it off. And that turns off my line numbering. That line numbering can be very, very useful if you're looking at you, know, you want to reference a specific location. All right, I've got a problem in the script or I'm looking at this particular thing in the log file. It's the line number 47. So obviously you want to open it up here, do set number rather than trying to say, hey, count 47 lines and hopefully we'll end up at the same spot so we can both look at it. Now, what if I want to get out of it? So I'm going to do my colon Q. Colon Q is to quit. Now it actually won't do that. You see right here, no right since last change. So it won't let you quit. Nano prompts you, do you want to save? Uh, Vim says, nope, you just can't do it. Come to think of it, I'm missing a period. So let me go back to my insert mode. I'm going to add a period there real quick and that's going to make me feel better. All right, so there are two ways to do this. I can do Q exclamation point, which when we did the Q, you see it actually referenced it right here at the exclamation point to override. What that does is that will get you out. Q exclamation point quits without saving. If you want to write and then quit, it's WQ. Now, if you do just a W, it will write, but not quit. If you do WQ, it'll write the file and quit. And if I let me clear my screen here real quick. ls-l, you'll see our file sample one dot text. I'm going to go ahead and actually let's just tack. We'll display it or cat. We'll just display it. Sample one dot text. We won't worry about editing it. And you can see the edits made by Nano and by Vim. All right. So there is your quick introduction to the uh, two text editors that we wanted to look at. Nano, you can pretty much do, you can pretty much use just out of the box. You don't have to, um, you don't have to do a lot of extra learning. It's pretty straightforward. Vim, definitely going to take you some extra learning, but if editing text files at command line is something you are going to need to do a lot of, uh, editing, manipulating, working with, Vim is a very, very powerful tool that might be worth the time it would take for you to go ahead and master it.